JC, for last season, I mean, how frustrating was that for you having to deal with that injury throughout the course of the season? And how does it feel now, uh, just being healthy and being able to be back out there? Yeah, it was, it was different for me. It's something I've never had to go through. So I learned a lot, um, you know, worked really hard with our athletic training staff and Connie and worked through it. But um, yeah, it taught me a lot. I feel really good now um, getting back into it. Still working really hard doing rehab at it and making sure, you know, we avoid that situation this coming year. And coming into this season, how, coming off of the Elite Eight and, you know, aiming for more, how do you feel the team's kind of just gotten after it this summer? Yeah, uh, we love summer. I think for us, we're, we're really competitive and we go at it a lot in the summer. So um, it's a good, we got a lot of newcomers too. So it's a good, good time for us to get, you know, learn how to play with each other, get comfortable with each other. And that's what we've been doing. And, and you know, starting practice today, I imagine we're going to compete just as much. And, and the special thing about this team is we make each other better. Uh, we love competing. We have a lot of, a lot of people who are really talented on this team. So making each other better is, you know, only going to push us more in the long run. Yeah, no, it was definitely different for me last year. Um, I played guard in high, point guard in high school and then went four years without playing it. <laughs> so it definitely an adjustment, but I think it was good that the coach was able to see that I could do it. So now he can't put me one through four. So I think it's just nice for him that he can trust me and know that I can do that. How important is it with you know, Taylor leaving for you to be able to step into multiple places this year? It's very important. I mean, we. Like she said, we have a lot of newcomers, which will be able to step up and help that in those roles. But it's definitely important because I know the system, I know the team, and I think the trust I have, he has with me will allow us to be great on the court. Diana, just for you, what what do you feel like you can bring to the team what your role can be? I mean, honestly, just doing what I need to be doing. So like whatever role that I've put in, just doing that as best as I can, being there for teammates, just all of that, pretty much. What was it about Ohio State that made you want to be a part of this program? I don't know. I like the competitive atmosphere. I was trying to fight to like get better positioning and stuff, and also just like just the feel of the college town. What's the excitement level when you're coming into a program that just went to the Elite Eight and has a chance to be a national contender? Just being part of something that's like, I guess like competitive and just like striving to do better and better each year. Andy? Uh, yeah, this is for either Ricky or JC. Just uh, when you have so many newcomers, as you mentioned, you know, you also have a lot of experience on this team. But just, uh, I guess, what's important for getting those players, you know, into the flow of things that's related to the culture of the program? Yeah, um, like you said, we do have a lot of newcomers and they're all, they're all really talented and they're all doing really well. I think for us, um, coming off of last year and just kind of the culture we've built, me and Ricky have been here a long time. So the culture we've built, um, I feel like it's pretty easy to get implemented too. We have a pretty high standard here, um, and it's pretty evident when you step on the court. So they fit in, you know, just right right now, and and they're making us better, just like we're making them better. But it's exciting to see them kind of adapt to our, you know, our culture already and the style of play. Um, there's still a lot to learn, but um, it's really encouraging to see the point that you know the newcomers are at right now, because you know there's only growth ahead of us. So it's 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 awesome to see. Yeah. Just a big back, just. The summertime, like you said, yeah. is very important for us. And not only on the court, but just team bonding and team stuff. And I think this summer is very important with the newcomers. And we, have, we did so much stuff together that it just felt we gelled easily. So it helped us on the court. What have you guys seen from Celeste so far? Yeah, Celeste is fifth year, just like us. <laughs> what? Oh, oh yeah. 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 But she's awesome. You know, she's got so much experience under her belt um, defensively. She's amazing. You know, you guys have seen it before, but she's going to fit into our system really well. Um, not only with our press, obviously, she's going to make our press better, but she's already helped us, you know, improve our half court defense. And, and that's something we're going to key in on a lot this year because um, I think we could be really successful in it. But um, she's a great player, great teammate. Um, it's been fun to have her here, and we're excited to get to know her even more. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like I said, it's encouraging um, because, you know, it only adds to what this team has and it's awesome. And and she's picking up on a lot of the things we do really quick, um, which is also cool because she can help, you know, the, the younger girls, too. So, like I said, she's got a lot of experience under her belt. 
um, quick learner, really coachable. So it's been fun to, to get to know her and play with her. And I'm excited because we already have a pretty good connection. And, and you know, as we play with her more, that's only going to grow. Ricky, uh, Coach McGuff was talking about the half-court defense and rebounding as being like the two main things he's been trying to, to emphasize since last season. Uh, how have you maybe felt that those messages coming across and how big of a focus is that as you go into the preseason? It's a focus every day. Um, we don't go a day without doing defense, I mean, of course, but rebounding drills, we do that all the time. And when we don't rebound appropriately, we do have to run. <laughs> But no, that's just our game. Um, our defense tends to win us our games. Everybody can score. Any team can score. If you can't stop them, then you're just going to get beat. So I think defense for us is a big key. And when our defense is on the right track, then we're always successful. And then, of course, rebound comes with that. We can't get out rebound. We got um, Tyre from Michigan State, who's a great rebounder. And having her on, like, just in practice right now, it's just like I can't see nobody out rebounding her. So that's just a nice for us to have, too. And JC was talking about uh, Celeste's defense, and uh, I know she's really well known for her half court defense, but also like how she's going to fit into your to your press. Um, how do you see that that transition of her like <coughs> fitting into both sort of styles of defense? Yeah, I feel I feel like I mean the press is literally just it's really defense. At the end of the day, defense is defense. Um, she has the eye for defense. She can move quick, read passes. Um, so I think. It doesn't matter if it's half court or full court. She's just good at pressuring the ball and getting the ball out of somebody's hands. So, and she's fast. So that just works well with the press, and it gives her a chance to show more what she can do with her defense ability. Diana, how do you think your experience with international competition this summer kind of set you on a good path for coming into collegiate ball? Um, it's just a different style of play, but I do think that here at Ohio State, we do a lot more, like, not so much – four out one in it's more so like we have it's just a way they like a lot of screening popping just kind of like how European style of play is so just pretty much like taking what I know from that and also just being more physical because in Europe it's a lot more physical but also just being physical getting over screen stuff like that just implementing it here Ricky, you kind of scoffed when JC mentioned how long you guys have been here. Can you believe you've been here five years already? <laughs> Time flies, I can say that. Um, we met before we even got here, so this is like my day one. <laughs> so we, we made a deal. If I stayed, she had to stay, and she came back for her fifth year, she didn't have to. So this shows her friendship and the loyalty she has to our team and the school. So, yeah, it's just we owed. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> it's almost time. And, Flip side of that, Diana, you've only been here a few months now. <laughs> yeah. What What is your impression kind of since you've gotten here? How do you feel you've kind of fit in with the program so far? I mean, it's obviously easier having a lot more people that are like like Ricky and JC, like fifth years and stuff. But it's just easier to like come into a system, not like they're basically like teaching you their ways and like stuff like that. So it's obviously easier and just like showing up every day and be competitive just like they are every day. So. And coming in with Faith, what's your relationship been like with her so far? Um, it's been pretty good for the most part. We just, I mean, we're just, we're from two different places, but we just, I don't even know, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're with each other all the time. They're, yeah. they're roommates, so. <laughs> David, go ahead. What does Cody mean to this team, and uh, how did she grow going into her second season? She, um, she means a lot. She's a big piece of this team. Um, brings in energy, she can score the ball, and she's been working a lot on her offensive game, just out perimeter-wise, and she's looking really good. Um, the sky's the limit for her, though. She's, what, a sophomore? Yeah. She's only a sophomore, yeah. so, I mean, she has so much room to grow, but she's also just so good already, so yeah. the sky's the limit for her. I think she's going to be great, and she continues to work on stuff that she's not good at so she can become better at it. And I'm ready for this. It's going to be exciting for people to see what she's been doing off season. Yeah. She's a great kid, too. I mean, you guys obviously see what she does on the court, but her energy and her, you know, how she's out, how when she's doing well, we're all doing well. Um, but her energy keeps us going, and, and she's obviously a great basketball player, but even better person and teammate. Wait, can you go ahead? JC, you answered this a few times. I'm going to ask it again. Mm -hmm. What convinced you to come back for the Chance at it, Ricky by herself. <laughs> what, what was it that brought you, brought you back to that? 
Yeah, um, Ricky has something to do it. <laughs> Definitely has something to do about it, no doubt. But um, uh, obviously making that run last year, um, we had a really tight-knit group, um, and I want to be a part of that again. A lot of us are coming back. We only lost Taylor, which is obviously a huge loss for us, but still got a really good group coming back, and I knew we had some, some really good newcomers coming too. So that's something I want to be a part of. I want to chase that, chase that run again, chase that title. And then um, for me, it was getting healthy too. Um, I wanted to be, you know, 100%. So just kind of a lot of hard work went into that, getting healthy, and then obviously being a part of this group again is something I, I wasn't ready to let go of. <laughs> Dan, we'll close with you. JC, just following up on that, Coach McGuff was saying yesterday about how NIL has influenced a lot of players to continue playing college basketball. For you personally, did that play any factor in your decision to stay in every year? Um, uh, to be honest, not really. I mean, there, it's it's something that we're so grateful for as athletes and and um, it's definitely benefited us a lot and we've we've you know learned a lot from it and benefited from it but um, it, I, I guess it played a factor it's it's something that like I said we're grateful for but at the end of the day it was about getting healthy it was about being part of this team again you know leading this group one more year um, so it wasn't wasn't a huge factor for me it's something we're obviously grateful for and it's always going to be there but um, that wasn't my main focus at all